Welcome back, guys. What's going on? If you've been waiting for Shalom and like I have, then do we have some things to discuss today? Because there has been a few, well, we'll call them nerfs to her kit as well as her signature weapon. We're going to recap a little bit on some of the changes from what used to be her base kit and as they changed along the way to what we have now. And a lot of these changes for Shalonen are based on her signature samples, which is going to dictate whether she's going to be a buffer and a healer or more of a focused damage dealer for your party. And the big one here that got nerfed was also one of her Ascension passives. It used to not just restore flaw, and energy to Shalonen, but it also used to buff up the speed of your party for a pretty significant amount of time as well. This was removed entirely, and now it's just going to give you a bit of Flogiston meter back, which in a lot of areas, especially something like the Abyss, isn't going to affect how you can use your Shalonen all that much. You're not going to have that nice little speed buff for exploring the open world. And while this isn't like a major nerf, it seems to be like one that I hope gets, you know, retroactively taken away and added back into her kit before she's officially launched in 5.1. We had a couple of different minor changes as well as explanations in the terminology within her kit as well. We had a couple of different obvious nerfs and buffs. She used to have an extremely low cooldown on her elemental burst. I think it was in the game at like seven or eight seconds or something crazy like that. And now it's back up to the additional traditional 15 second. The energy cost was increased a little bit here as well, which means you're going to have to, in a lot of situations for Shalona, give her a pretty significant amount of energy recharge because because of the way that her sample sources work, where you don't really want to fit her with a bunch of other Geo characters, so you can activate her resistant shred for everyone in the party. But other than that, a couple of different changes to her defense multipliers, as well as her defense healing multipliers for her elemental skill, normal attack combos and elemental bursts as well. Nothing life changing though for the Shalonen fans out there. Now, some of the other things that were changed that are a little bit more life changing for us, for Shalonen. On the plus side though, while Shalonen is your active character, her Geo Source sample will always be active, meaning that if you're shredding to different resistances for enemies around you, maybe you're using just Shalonen and then three other characters that will change the different source sample elements. While Shalonen's active, you're still gonna have that Geo one of hers active. So you're gonna be able to get that extra Geo resistant shred, even if you're using her as like a sub DPS while she's on the field for a short amount of time. And speaking of source samples and changes, well, the big one that got changed that has to do with source samples is her Constellation 2. Her Constellation 2 got a new addendum to it. This is going to allow her Geo source sample to always remain active at Constellation 2, whether is she on the field or off of the field. This will allow her to pair a little bit better with ways to do off field geo damage during that constellation too. They also did change and buff up some of the buffs that you get to your characters. Geo was originally crit chance increased 30%, which if you were a min maxer, you would have to go back and change your builds to get the full benefit of this, right? If you already have like a 90% crit rate on your geo character, well, you're at 120%, you're not getting the full benefit of that. You'd probably wanna swap your crit damage a substat circlet to a crit damage main stat circlet, something like that to take the full advantage of that. That is gone now and instead is replaced with a geo damage bonus of 50%. The other source sample buffs did get buffed up as well. Pyro characters with the pyro source sample activated get 45% attack. Hydro gets 45% max HP increase, which is kind of insane. And then we're gonna get crit damage of 50% for cryo characters. And Electro got buffed up in a pretty big way here as well. Electro characters are gonna restore 25 energy and have their elemental burst cooldown reduced by six seconds. This would be super awesome to pair with someone like Raiden Shogun to have an even shorter elemental burst cooldown so you can use her burst to fill up everyone else's energy even more. And if you're Raiden Shogun's Constellation 6 for some reason, then not only are you reducing Raiden's burst with the C2 of Shalonen, but then you can use Raiden's burst to reduce the cooldown of everyone else's in your party by five seconds as well, which is pretty insane. I don't know if you need that for anything, but that sounds like a very fun team. She also got some verbiage changes for her Constellation 6, where she's gonna additionally, she heals nearby party members for 120% of her defense every one and a half seconds. That was in there in sort of made a little bit easier to understand. And then the big one here is gonna be the final one, the big nerf, the signature weapon, the Peak Patrol song. Now, initially the Peak Patrol song did do a couple of cool things. Initially, it started out as giving a stacking defense bonus to the wearer when they use uh, and hit an attack of their normal or, or plunging variety. And this would give you 6% defense increase at R1 up to 12% for six seconds. And you can get two of these stacks. So 12% max at R1, 24% max at Constellation 6. In addition to that, it would also give you a stacking crit chance and crit damage rate 
for the equipped character. So in this case, if Shalonen's using her weapon, crit rate and crit damage for her as well. And then in addition to that, for every 1000 defense that Shalonen had, she would give a damage bonus to everyone else in the party, starting at 8% at R1, going to 16% at R1. Five. And the cap for this at R1 is going to be 25.6%, and at R5 it was 51.2%. This was changed and buffed up in a couple of ways previously to get rid of that stacking crit rate and crit damage bonus for the equipped characters like Shalonen, and it buffed up the all damage bonus for all our party members, and it included Shalonen in herself, and it was bumped up to 12% at R1 for every 1,000 defense you had, and at R5 it was a whopping 24% for every 1,000 defense you had which was 36% all damage bonus at R1 up to a whopping 72% at R5. This has now since been changed and we're kind of getting a basically worse version almost or maybe better version than the original version. We're still gonna have that stacking defense increase of the same rate up to two stacks. But instead of that crit chance of crit damage stacking bonus that it originally had, it's now gonna give a damage bonus 10 to 20% depending on your refinement rank or the equipped character in the all party member buff has since been nerfed back down and reverted to the original state. 8% R1, 16% R5 for every 1000 defense you had, stacking up to a cap of 25.5% at R1 or 51.2% at R5 for the entire party. Now, this is still the entire party, and so it's sort of a mix mash version of what they were trying out beforehand. Yes, it's 100% worse if you were looking just for that all wide party damage of Shalonen as a buffer. It's roughly like 11%, 12% weaker at refinement rank one for the rest of the party. But if you're looking for a main DPS Shalonen, well, this all party member damage bonus does work on her and keep in mind she's going to have her own damage bonus on top of that so even with the minimum you're going to get 20 percent at r1 self damage bonus and then another 25.6 percent for a total of you know 45.6 percent damage bonus for shalonen at r1 and 25.6 percent for everyone else so compared to before the damage bonus is going to be slightly better at r1 for the shalonen whoever's wearing the signature weapon and slightly weaker for the rest of the party so what's the nitty gritty has she been nerfed into the floor and unusable now she's still gonna be a fantastic character if out of all of the characters i've seen so far released for not and even the back half of sumeru as well as fontaine i think she's maybe one of the most must pull characters still i still think that constellation zero r1 is a fantastic way to just put her in any party basically as long as you meet the requirements of the party composition where you just don't overload on geo characters so you can make sure that you have the ability to transform at least two of those source samples you're going to get like 36 percent resistant shred you're going to be able to put her on the not lawn uh, support set which is around 40 percent bonus damage for the rest of your party and you're also going to be able to get her weapon for another you know 25 percent at r1 damage bonus for your party she's almost like a Geo Kazaha that instead of having to rely on the Viridescent Venerer set to do resistant shred and instead of having to build elemental mastery for damage bonus, she's just going to build defense for damage bonus for your whole party. If you have her uh, signature weapon, she's going to be able to utilize that set very well for that giant damage percent bonus that Kazaha is known for doing. And you're going to get that 36% resistant shred instead of 40% from VV. So a little bit weaker there. And the craziest thing too is that, well, you could basically use them in a lot of teams together. Because remember, Geo and Animo and Dendro aren't going to change the different source samples that you have, but you are gonna be able to use Shalonen in Kazaha and then pick Hydro, Pyro, Electro, Cryo characters in there. Pick two of those, so something like, and just absolutely destroy everyone on the battlefield. You could make something like Nivellet in a Pyro character, and then these two together, resistant shred everything, have the ability to swirl like crazy, boost your damage into the stratosphere, and resistant shred everything into the floor. And then if you decide to go all in more and get the constellation to that hydro percent HP bonus of 45%. That is a whopping crazy amount of bonus HP for Hydro characters, especially those that scale off of health. That's absolutely astonishing that they did that. 45% attack and 45% HP are not even in the same ballpark. Uh, you just can't buff up your HP that much from gear and characters and buffs in Genshin Impact. And she's one of the few ways that you can do that. So she's gonna be a fantastic character still, in my opinion. I'm gonna do a final video breaking her down entirely with her kit fully explained as well, several ways to build her and 
stats to focus on for her as well as other weapon types that you want to be using on Shalon if you don't feel like going for her signature R1 weapon for that extra 26% damage bonus for the rest of the team as well as the nice fat defense percent that is the main stat of that weapon. All in all, I think Shalonen's gonna be a fantastic character. There's not very many characters that I would call must pick characters, but the ones that are, are the ones that are super flexible support type characters. If you compare her to one of the most used supports now in the game, which is Kazuha. Kazuha is known for wearing the VV set for 40% resistance shred, building a bunch of elemental mastery to get a large, substantial, you know, 50, 60% bonus damage for everyone else in his party. He's got a little bit of grouping as well. And you can do some cool stuff with animal swirls. Now, contrast to that, we have Shalonen, who has the ability to do 36% res shred, and then on top of that, can wear the not lawn set for 40% or so damage bonus for everyone in her party. And then if you put her signature weapon on here, then you're gonna get another 25% or so damage bonus, making her very similar to a Kazuha, and you can actually put them in the same team as well, which is going to be absolutely insane if you wanna use, I don't know, Nivellet. It just make him better for some reason. So there's gonna be a lot of ways that you can use Shalonen. I'm looking forward to her. We're gonna have a full breakdown guide videos coming out in the next couple of days. So subscribe for those. Catch you guys in Genshin and other stuff as well. Take care.